Hi Pisces, this is Rogue Tarot. Happy birthday, guys. I'm doing a March love reading. So right off the bat, Pisces, wow. You guys got the Six of Cups, so someone is coming in from your past or there is a reconciliation happening between lovers or friends here, guys. Um, we have someone is coming towards you who has been contemplating about this for a while now. We could be an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but they're coming out of this resting phase, and they're coming in, and they're taking actions to come peacefully after a deception here. You have the four and the six of wands. What's between them is the wands, five of swords, guys. So five of swords are between the four and the six, right? So they want to come peacefully after a deception here because we have the seven of swords. Could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius here. Someone was sneaky, you know. They thought that they could get away with this deception here that they're now that they're carrying the seven of swords, you know. It skips the five of swords here. So they thought that you wouldn't be able to see this deception, but you have. <clears throat> Pisces and you know my voice of like someone is wanting to speak up but you see this deception for what it is and you're in a lot of pain here you're just trying to end these burdens here and focusing on your finances your growth as the queen of pentacles but your person is gemini libra occurs it's a strong air sign energy right now they have cut off this obnoxious woman who just wanted the attention on themselves they cut off this third party interference why because they want to reconcile with you, Pisces. I mean, it is your birthday. You could have one happy birthday surprise here. All right. Yeah, yeah. With the Four of Wands. So the Four of Swords in reverse with the Four of Wands. They want to bring the stability, the structure back. This could be a twin flame, guys. Yeah, because they left you out in the cold. You could be dealing with a Leo here. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But they're wanting to come back because, you know, they're, you're the light in their lives here. Like... They were in this darkness with you not in their lives. And you see all this bright yellow. Like, they want you back, Pisces. And they're willing to come towards you. Wow. Why did the car just come out from here? You know what? I'll take it. Whatever. But you could be dealing with the Taurus here. But whoever, whoever is you're dealing with the Taurus, Pisces, they wanted me to let you know that they ended the situation that they're in. Because <laughs> their car just wanted to fly out. Yeah, they want to come forward for a union here with the Two of Cups. Yeah, they're just choosing, you know, what they want to give you, but they think that you're not going to take it. They don't think you're going to take this offer here. They see you with your arms crossed with the four of cups here. So they're trying to find the perfect way to tell you that they ended this situation to come and be with you. But guys, you know, I am reading cards here at the same time. Don't just jump back with this person just because they got rid of somebody right away. You don't want to be that rebound, especially if they're not in the right energy, guys. So take it slow. With the Seven of Swords here, yeah, we have Death, the Star, and the King of Wands. So this person is still attracted to you. You could be dealing with their Aquarius or a Scorpio here with the Death card. But they want to end these lies that they were um, telling you here. And they want to transform and heal this situation here. And they're really passionate about you. So again, just be careful because the King of Wands is um, full of passion and intimacy here. So <laughs> just be careful because some of them might come in and only be intimate and come right back out. You, we do have the Seven of Swords here. So this is a red flag. Use your intuition. Use your discernment here. I'm glad the High Priest has popped up because once again, we have the Seven of Swords here. So this person could have transformed, but it can only be temporary here. Again, this is a warning flag. Right here, use that intuition. Go with them, guys. Clarify the three of swords. Yeah, someone put you in a third party and you discovered it. You just definitely discovered it. And you're trying to heal from this situation. But this is a karmic cycle that was bound to happen that you had to learn to go within here with the Hermit in reverse. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but this was divinely guided to happen here. We have the Ten of Wands with the nine of cups in reverse so your wishes weren't fulfilled you ended these burdens or this person is ending these burdens because it's just been a really off balance situation here i feel like this is more so you yeah and your person is in regret here and they're gonna work hard to try to get you back could be dealing with another pisces cancer i think that's a scorpio here but they're in this regret about you clarify this five of cups yeah they regret that they were being sneaky <laughs> They regret that they were being sneaky, guys. Look at this. Seven of Swords. They regret this. 
They regret it. Lying to you, going behind your back. Because now your trust is broken. And now they want to come in and tell you the truth. King of Swords here. You might not buy it. They're coming in wounded, guys. You know, then get another strong air size here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But they're coming in wounded to tell you the truth here. You know, they're going to play this little... You know, I'm hurt, I need you to fix me type thing. And they're going to be anguished, but they're matching in your energies right now with the Queen and King of Pentacles here. They see the truth. They became what they needed you to be. And they're coming in as very stable and grounded here. Yeah, with the offer. They're coming in with the truth, the groundedness, and the offer here, Pisces. Oh my God, yes, a tower tower because he's letting go of his selfishness in the king of pentacles energy shit is breaking down and they're coming in with the truth and an offer perfect is queen of wands yeah they're ending this with this person and they're starting a brand new cycle with you the world and the ace of cups guys this person is in love love like in love and they're tired of isolating themselves and they're coming in with the victory now because they're very much attracted to you this person was just trying to trying to imitate you pisces and they cannot be you there's only one pisces wow what a beautiful reading but they are coming in look at this like a tower moment is happening pisces your love is coming in on your birthday month guys all right so i'm going to get some love Romance angels, what else for Pisces and love? Yeah, focus on yourself, Pisces. Keep doing what you got to do to make yourselves whole and happy because this person is coming in. Yeah, keep, like I said, keep, <laughs> wow, will you guys see this? Look, reconciliation, but keep loving yourself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, like I said. Keep doing the things that make you feel good because your person is coming in. This person did have children. It ain't in the factor anymore because this is true love. Wow. This is beautiful, guys. This is true love. All right. Anything else for my Pisces? Anything else for my Pisces? And there is a full moon in Virgo tomorrow. So things are coming to light, guys. We have the butterfly relationships evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. Exactly. You guys are evolving. Then we have Hand of Cards. Take a chance. Risk. Be strategic. Remember that high priestess came out? Be strategic. Use your intuition. Do not show your hand, guys. Play your cards right. Mirror. Yeah. Mirroring each other. Self-image. Reflections. Relationships. Reflect our rooms. Introspection. So your person is coming in. Exactly. Seduction. So again, that high priestess was there for a reason, Pisces. Use your intuition on this. Have fun, okay? Because... Some of them could be coming back and still being in this sneaky, deceptive energy here, all right? All right, Pisces, I hope this helps. Thank you.